Hi guys. So I think it's been a while since I've actually been in front of the camera. Um, I've done a bunch of stuff where I've been behind the camera but not actually in front and I gotta admit it's been I've been having a rough couple weeks now actually. Um, just various stress levels being really really high. Um, basically say since the kids were sick um, and then they were back at school for a week and then they were home for March well my daughter was home for March break and I just haven't been in a good headspace <laughs> I'll admit that um, my my mind is very strong but as a result when it's not being my best friend it is kind of rough <laughs> that way um, but I wanted to tell you about a meeting that I had this morning actually. Um, one of the social workers at the autism unit, um, I guess I was referred to her when everything started happening with my son jumping out of the car um, while I'm driving. <laughs> um, if you follow my channel, you'll know what that means. If not, I'll link it somewhere here, here, wherever it is. Um, and. So they, they went, you know what, she's she's kind of at max level of stress right now because him jumping out of the car when I'm driving kind of sucks. Um, so anyway, one of the social workers is back from mat leave now and, you know, it was finally kind of my turn to go in and chat with her. And it was interesting. It was an interesting meeting in that she's the social worker there who I've always really, really loved. She's She's really good at being present in the meeting, understanding, being empathetic, um, and she actually like follows through. <laughs> Whereas I think, and I mean, it's it's no disrespect to anyone else it, who's a professional in the community. It's just their workloads are so large that it's hard to keep up with what every single person is asking for. Um, but this social worker is fantastic, um, and she really just, she knows how to get to kind of the root of what's going on, um, and she's really good with follow through and follow up, and I really feel like she's there for me, um, instead of, you know, what what does my son need now? And there's not many programs out there that are there for the parents. Um, plus, we just we get along really well and all this kind of stuff. But what's interesting is because I'm studying social work, <laughs> um, I could see all of the methods and the the techniques and everything that she was using is stuff that I'm actually learning in school. Um, so that, that was kind of interesting to experience receiving that. I don't know. I don't know how else to explain it. Um, but my mind, one of my strengths, let me, let me backtrack. One of my strengths is to be able to kind of see the, like be told what the end result is. And I can see all of the steps, good and bad sometimes to get to that end result. However, <laughs> when I see the end result, I see all of the steps in between the good and the negative. So although for the most part it is a strength, right now my brain is stuck in the negatives of things. And I mean, I still try to have a positive outlook on life and all this kind of stuff. Um, and I try to make... It, in my own head, everything kind of, I fi try to find the amusing part of my son's behaviors, of, you know, all this kind of stuff, right? While I was meeting with this social worker this morning, I realized, and I don't think she said it per se, but she did kind of point out that all of the stuff that I'm looking at is for like, 10 years down the road <laughs> and that I need to figure out which one is the priority today, right? So we were able to kind of, 
I was able to kind of do a brain dump on her, which was really helpful. And it doesn't have to be just about my son um, because everything in my life also affects my kids. Obviously, I'm their mom. <laughs> um, and so I was able to kind of do a brain dump and then informally we were kind of chatting about like what are the priorities for today? Not necessarily coming up with a to-do list for today, but a priority list of, okay, so if you need this in six months, what do you need to do now to be able to do it? Because something that I need to prepare for, for example, when he becomes an adult and ages out of all the programs that he receives as a child, I don't need to deal with today. There are much higher priorities in our lives, in my life, this kind of stuff, right? So, sorry, it's a, I need a lot of caffeine day. Um, so that was kind of an interesting, I mean, it's, it's real. It's, it's, it's the truth. It's exactly what should be happening. But I needed somebody else to kind of reflect that back to me. Um, so what I'm going to do is I actually have an appointment tomorrow morning that, um, I'm expecting to have to wait quite a little bit, um, before I actually go into the appointment because it's a medical appointment. You know, you have to sit in the waiting room for God knows how long. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is turn off my cell phone while I'm in there. Um, and take a notebook and a pen and stuff with me and just kind of do the brain dump into my notebook of everything that she and I spoke about today. And then prioritize from there what's the stuff that I really need dealt with, phone calls that I need to make, processes that I need to start, you know, within the next week. So that basically I'm going to do a brainstorming session with myself because I think part of why my brain has not been my friend in the last couple weeks is because it's all up here instead of in front of me where I can see it, where I can forget about it, not actually forget to do the action, but to just write it down so it's not cluttering up my brain. Because remember, one of my goals this year is to simplify and simplify is both external and internal environments. So I need to get back into the habit of actually writing everything out in my notebooks or my journals or whatever, um, other than just my class notes, because I have my notebook that I take my class notes. A lot of other people in my class are typing their notes up, but I don't, I don't process that. I'm old school. I don't process that. I do better physically writing it out. Um, so I think I'm going to spend time tomorrow, um, waiting to go in for this appointment to do a little bit of brainstorming session. And then I have that appointment and I have a second appointment in the morning, but then kind of takes the quiet time in the afternoon where I don't have the kids or before the kids come home from school to finish that brainstorming session and to kind of come up with an action list from there. So... I guess the point of this video, I don't know. I don't know. The point of this video is get it out of your brain, basically. And to admit that, you know, my brain right now is thinking of worst case scenarios for like 20 years down the road. And I really need to focus on now and what I can do right now. And frankly, what I have control over because there's some situations right now in my life um, that the external influence is very, very large um, and I have no control over it whatsoever. Um, I have to rely on somebody else to, frankly, get his ass in gear um, and that's not my partner. I will, I will put that out there that it is not my partner. Um, he's actually been fantastic. Um, and to, then, you know, I know where, where our lives will go from there. That's being very cryptic. I may expand on it later, but right now that's really all that I'm willing to say about that situation in particular. Um, but otherwise, you know, 
a big thing is to also just go and talk to somebody and being able to talk with this social worker this morning was really really helpful for me um, primarily because it made everything clinical I don't know I find it easier myself to get out of the emotions of things and just look at the logistics look at the logic of the situation the clinical aspect of it something like that and just move forward because if I get stuck in my brain and stuck in the emotions I just get stuck so yeah there's there's my rambling video <laughs> basically about you know what happens when I get stuck and just kind of saying how awesome the social worker was this morning at helping me kind of feel unstuck which is very which is a lot of progress in my world so anyway let me know if you guys go through this at all I mean everybody goes through emotional times and all that but just let me know how you deal with it too um, any stress management techniques that you have I'm just it's a rough stage right now in my life it's a rough couple pages in this chapter <laughs> Anyway, we'll talk to you guys later. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Bye, guys.